for it, everyone. I love you, honey. Have a good day. Love you. Bye. Drive safe. Hi, everyone. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. My intention for this video was to kind of do this list in my planner and walk you through the day with me. But in the middle of planning, uh, Jay proposed that we go to Boston for a little bit. I just finished up lunch at the Clover Food Lab and now I'm walking down to Italy. This is one of my very favorite places in Copley Plaza and it's relatively new. It's just been here for a few years and it's just this gorgeous Italian market and I'm planning to grab a cappuccino and find a spot to do my work. Um, and I'm stopping at all the beautiful displays for Easter. Typically I get the kids Godiva bunnies for their baskets, but I'm really tempted by these little Italian chocolate bunnies. They're so adorable. I almost knock over <laughs> these loaves of pistachio bread. I just love how they're packaged, but it took me a while to stabilize that one package so that it wouldn't fall. Of course, there is just homemade pasta, fresh pasta just everywhere. The cheeses are beautiful. The deli is to die for. It's just such a great place, but I'm making my way towards the back. I remember there being a little gelato stand and then an area with seating, and it's just past lunchtime, and so I'm hoping it's not too bad. This beautiful wine selection here. I could spend days here, and I could just spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars, like just take my money. Everything is so beautiful. This is just so perfect. I can't believe it is so quiet back here. That window overlooks Boylston Street, and then this is a glance back into Italy. Um, so I set up camp here, and I actually got so much work done. It was great. order came in so I want to get a sauce to go with my my little 20 calorie units. so we'll try this we're gonna get something for Rocco so we are just heading home now that was a quick lunch it was fun in the city but uh, Caitlin will be at the house and um, thank you and I'm just going to go ahead and finish um, working at home this was a fun little distraction an unboxing coming up. We think the unboxing is so. <laughs> oh, Lulu, look up at the trash. You're so fresh, Lulu Marie. I don't think, did she get it? No, she didn't get it. There's chicken wings in there. Is that what it is? Lulu? Try. Oh, is that your cookie from earlier? You waited all this time to eat it? Oh, well, enjoy, young lady, enjoy. I think these big boxes are returns from Amazon, AKA things that never sold. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Lego Friends advent calendars, the bane of my Amazon existence. Um, I did get a Thrive package in the mail. This is my first time ordering from Thrive, and I have a couple things that I'm pretty excited for. And I absolutely love when I get stuff that I can use for shipping later. I got these chomps. These are two points on WW and some of them were free. These are the free rain turkey pepperoni sticks and then the original beef sticks. These might be 33 points because these are 90 calories. These are 60. Yeah, um, I think, yeah, those are three. So I got a lot. I really went a little overboard there. 
But the thing that I'm most excited about is I ordered the Palmini. Hold on. I don't even know what this is. I do know it's some great packing stuff, which makes me very happy. This looks like a sauce of some sort. Primal Kitchen Buffalo Ranch Dip Avocado. It seems odd. Um, but I do like this Primal Kitchen stuff. I like their dressings. They're also Whole30 approved, but it's just good for you stuff. Let's see. I ordered like seven palmini, so I think that that is most of what I have. Yeah, this is all the palmini. And I'm going to have this with the sauce that I just bought in Boston. I think I'm gonna try the linguine because I've only done the angel hair, I think. Here's the angel hair that I've had before. This is, this is hearts of palm, but I just saute it and it's so yummy. And I got some tea, lemon ginger. I always get decaf tea because I kind of have trouble sleeping at night. And so calming, excited to try that. And I think I got Primal Kitchen ketchup. Oh, and my, I love this stuff, my lavender. Hold on. Does anyone else use Dr. Bronner's? the Castile, pure Castile soap. This is like $12 for this giant bottle and this will last me like six months. Oh, I love the smell of this. It's pretty It's pretty um, concentrated though. I can put a little in the tub. It's the best, the best smelling lavender stuff you can get. Um, yeah, so that's it. This is ketchup. I don't know if ketchup is exciting to see. I've never tried this one. This just doesn't have sugar in it. Yeah, it's the Primal Kitchen under that wrap. All right, that's it. I have a couple other things to open for you. I'm so thirsty. Oh, somebody recognized this mug that I was drinking out of. It's like a Piper or something. Can't remember the name of the company. I'll put it on the screen, but my girlfriend Marguerite got me this. You are the Louise to my Thelma. I'm Louise and she is Thelma. But one of my viewers, this is her son's company. And I thought that was the coolest thing. Oh, Piper Lou, Piper Lou, it says right there. They have so many cute personalized things. I love your son's company. I love this mug and I love Marguerite, my friend who bought me that. Um, I have some stuff to open. I've been like an ordering machine. I've been a little crazy lately. I don't know if it's spring. I don't know what's going on, but I've, or I've just needed stuff. So first off, I'm gonna start with some coffee because, um, so you know my espresso machine, the Terra Cafe that I bought and I featured on this channel, was one of my first videos when I did the unboxing. I've gotten referrals from that. So I'm not, it wasn't a sponsored video. I'd never even heard of that machine until I started doing the research and it was about five days from the time I started researching it to the time that I bought it. And I watched a bunch of YouTube videos about that espresso machine. So I was able to get $75 off the purchase because I use somebody else's affiliate link who does these videos on coffee. Anyway, people have bought the, the machine from my site. So I had some credit to buy coffee and accessories off their site. So the coffee that I ordered has been coming kind of piecemeal because I don't think it's coming from Terra Cafe. It's coming from the actual roasters. So this is one of them. I'm so bad at unboxing. Okay, so thank you for your order. Oh, it smells so good. So I think we got two pounds of this. This is called Flat Iron Espresso. It's from Colombia. Dark chocolate, praline, and date. So I get this nice bag, Partners Coffee. And then it says on the back, roasted on 327. I mean, that's like days ago. Isn't that exciting? Brooklyn, New York, Partners Coffee. So excited about that. This is just a reminder because I forget to do my eBay order all the time. I pay for a subscription, a store subscription on eBay. It's not the most basic one. It's the next one up. I think I pay like 20 bucks a month and you get a credit. You get a $25 credit to purchase business supplies from eBay um, if you have a store. And if you have a larger store, you get more of a credit and I, I'm embarrassed to tell you how many times I have missed the deadline. This time around, I ordered tissue paper because I, oh, look at this, see, it just says eBay. And I like that it's just black. It kind of goes with my vibe. I've been really trying to make the transition from packaging my shoes specifically in my 
my plastic things, these little guys. For those of you who may not know, I am a reseller. That is my full-time job. I have another channel called Lori's Boston Found, and I typically talk about thrifting and my reselling journey over there. And I use these to package up my shirts, tops, I mean, and I sometimes will put flats in here. But what happens is I put the shoes in that and then I end up needing to put paper around the shoes anyways, nine times out of 10, unless they're like bulkier and they take up most of the box. So I've just been wrapping them and I ordered some big sheets of paper from U-Haul and I also have a huge roll of craft paper, but I've been really enjoying wrapping stuff in paper and it's better for the environment and more in line with what I do. So I decided to get the eBay paper with my credit. And in the past, I have ordered from eBay their poly mailers, and they come in a variety of colors. There's like, they have red, they have green, blue, and maybe yellow. So I've ordered these in the past. So if I have a first class package that's under 16 ounces, it will go in there, and now I have the wrap. Another time, I just ordered these smaller boxes from eBay. So those are the three orders that I've made on eBay. Oh, and I've ordered the tape, the packing tape that says eBay. So I've ordered four times, but which means that's about a year's worth of orders because you get a $25 credit every quarter. And I've probably had a store for almost three years. So that tells you how many times I have forgotten to place my order. So reminder, if you have an eBay store, go place your free order. This is what I'm most excited to open. I got a new tripod. My Sony that I use is on my tripod right now, but there's, there's a little uh, knob that turns that allows me to angle the camera so it points down a little bit, and I stripped that. So I had turned it, tried to tighten it one too many times. This current uh, tripod was like $22, so it's, it's pretty basic. I think it goes up to about five feet. The legs retract, it has like a, a hook if you wanna weigh it down. So it, it does what it needs to do. But I have been wanting to do planner content for so long and I just haven't figured out a system to have the camera overhead. I bought uh, several months ago like an arm, like a crane that clamps to the side of your desk and then it holds your phone over your desk. So that was my first attempt at some overhead um, apparatus that could film. Well, the problem was my desk, my desk, I bought it pre-owned at Ikea. I bought my desk, the um, shelving in back of me, the, um, the little buffet height table, and then a file cabinet. I bought them all on Craigslist. It's too wide, so the clamp doesn't fit on the side of my desk. So then I was bringing in tables and chairs and trying to clamp that little arm onto something else but it was it would just became such a project. I'm like, this just isn't worth it. This was a bad purchase. It was like $25 and it's like a sunk cost. So what I did was I ordered a tripod that had the arm extension in it, which is really cool. So it was a little more money. I think this was like $135, which was definitely a splurge. But I mean, I am now filming like five days a week between Lori's Boston Found and this channel. It's just like constant, like it makes sense for me to have a good tripod. Um, and I bought it on Amazon. I have the links to everything here down below if you wanna check them out. And actually the, the $21 stand has been really good. The tripod that I've had, it's been great. Um, I just think I was getting to the point where I needed something else. I always think it's so nice that these things come in a nice portable case, but then I don't go anywhere with my tripod, so it's a little wasted on me. This is a great case. This, this is beefy. This is way heavier than the one in front of me. Wow, there's a lot more to this. I guess you can also use this as a monopod. I don't know when I would do that. So it has the, um, the thing in the middle. These come out. And then these, of course, are adjustable, so you can just like turn them and they loosen up. So this is really nice. This is gonna take some time to set up because this feels like, this feels very legit. This is way too sophisticated for me, so I'm going to have to look at it. I'm looking at it right now and I don't see anything unless this comes up and then can angle out. But anyways, it's supposed to, you're supposed to have the tripod up and then it goes like 90 degrees. Um, oh, this, oh, that, that was one of the features is it has a ball right here. 
So this center part, you're able to like move it to all different angles. I mean, this is definitely much nicer than the one I have, but it's also a little bit more complicated. So I'm gonna have to figure this out, but I'm very excited. I'm gonna get this set up tonight. I have two other things that I was able to order from Terra Cafe with my credits. Uh, this is a brand called Quinto, K-I-N-T-O. And it's a mini tumbler to go, um, but it's, it's a small size. So if you make cappuccinos or espresso, anything that, you would, that doesn't require like a full coffee pour um, can go in this. So I ordered two of these. I think they were $32. I would have I would never paid $32 for these if they weren't free. Um, but they had black and they had this vanilla color, which they called it white, but it's like a creamy vanilla. So I got two of the vanillas so Jay and I could just have like these little matching tumblers when we go out. And I've already used one, so one is already opened. But they're very like minimalist in their design. But this is the Kinto. You can see that. I'm gonna I have my I have my little um, ring light here and it's kind of throwing things off. So there's that. But this is what I thought was interesting. It just has this tiny little slit for um, to sip out of so it's not like a normal size and it's stainless on the inside and it actually it has like a little bit of texture to it it's really nice and it keeps your drink super hot and because there's just this tiny opening I find that I'm sipping my cappuccino because I could like pound those cappuccinos you get like this much froth and then you have some almond milk steamed and a little shot of espresso they go so fast this somehow slows you down a little bit. It's like drinking out of a tiny straw. But anyways, yeah, I really like this Kinto. They were really cute as a little perk. And then I just got some descaling tabs that go into the machine to keep it um, running smoothly. You have to descale a lot of um, coffee makers. So they have just these little tablets. And I think this just goes into the tank um, I used to I used to descale on my own with baking soda and vinegar back in the day when I had started to purchase nicer coffee machines. Um, but these are just tablets that you drop in. I think these were ten dollars. So I'm excited to play with all my new toys. I think I'm gonna let you go and I'm gonna like work on this. This is heavy. I can't tell you how heavy this is. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all set up and um, yeah, I'll leave links to everything below. I figured this out. This is the neck that tilts down, and then this can go overhead. And if I loosen this, this goes up straight. So it's really nice. I'm really excited to try that out. I had so much fun getting out of the house today and going to Boston. It was such a treat, and already I'm back. I'll get some listings up, and that's all. I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more from me, and I'll be back real soon. Bye!